this is the my toughest part of my my exercise. Setting up the leg press is tricky, but he's patient and getting stronger. <sighs> Near the anniversary of the illness that cost Moses Chan his arms and legs, the single father has a new outlook, forced on him by a catastrophic illness last Christmas Day. Yeah, Moses first shared his story with us in October. I've been having the flu and I thought it was just a normal flu, but I realized soon that this was much more than a regular flu. Worried, he went to a doctor and was sent home, told to rest. It wasn't long before he collapsed, quickly finding himself back at Vancouver General Hospital going into emergency surgery. When they put me under for that, that was the last thing I remember. Then I woke up, I think about 10 or 14 days later from a coma that I had been in. Moses was in septic shock, his blood poisoned by streptococcus bacteria. Moses woke up with no idea what had happened. When I looked at my hands and feet, they were black. And I thought, oh my God, what is wrong with me? The treatment that saved his life concentrated blood in his vital organs, pulling it away from his extremities. Clots further restricted blood flow his limbs died still attached to his body. There was no choice but to amputate. My thoughts were on my son, Miles, that I was a single dad and I didn't know if what would become of my son, right? Um, would I be able to be a good father to him still? Several months were spent in Vancouver's GF Strong Rehabilitation Center. His recovery, a battle he was strong enough to win. He came home to his son in July, finding himself dependent on the boy in a way that most fathers aren't. He never lost that positive outlook on his life. And that was the thing that struck me because, you know, you can see a gentleman with, you know, a, a quadruple amputee and think, oh my God, you know, but with Moses, he, he never sort of succumbed to that feeling. What happens if you just press into the carrot? The hooks do the job, but he dreams of electronic arms, expensive devices that will give him back much of what he's lost. A, an electronic arm would enable him to dress himself. He wouldn't need caregivers anymore. He would be able to do the meal prep. He wouldn't need assistance for that. He'd be able to live independently and take care of his son and himself and do the things he wanted to do, he wants to do. He could go back to work. Since going public, Moses has raised about 60 of the $100,000 needed for the new arms. He's stunned and strengthened by the generosity. I just say, I thank God for you. They encouraged me a lot to overcome everything, that um, I'm not alone. And I'm also a little bit, um, I feel a little bit accountable to them, that, you know, that um, they're, they're here to help me. Uh, I gotta help myself as well.